the darkest hour. In the city of New Haven, a group of superheroes had long been celebrated for their unwavering commitment to protecting humanity. They were the city's guardians, the ones who stood between the innocent and the forces of darkness. But beneath the surface, a sinister plot was brewing, one that would change the course of history forever. The superheroes, known as the New Haven Protectors, were a diverse group of individuals with extraordinary abilities. There was the enigmatic leader, Phoenix, who could manipulate fire at will, the telekinetic powerhouse, Mindstorm, who could move objects with his mind, the agile and swift speedster, who could run at incredible speeds, and the empathic healer, Lifebloom, who could mend any wound. For years, the New Haven Protectors had been the city's shining beacon of hope. They had saved countless lives and thwarted countless threats. But as time passed, the Protectors began to feel a growing sense of disillusionment. They had dedicated their lives to saving humanity, but it seemed that humanity was not worth saving. The world was plagued by war, poverty, and corruption. The very people they had sworn to protect seemed to be their own worst enemies. The protectors began to question their purpose, wondering if they were truly making a difference. One fateful night, the protectors gathered in their secret headquarters, deep beneath the city. They spoke in hushed tones, their faces illuminated by the flickering glow of the emergency lights. We've been fighting for humanity for years, Phoenix said, his voice heavy with emotion. But what have we truly accomplished? The world is still a dark and dangerous place. The others nodded in agreement, their expressions mirroring Phoenix's frustration. We've saved countless lives, Mindstorm said, his voice filled with doubt. But at what cost? We've lost friends, family, and even our own humanity in the process. Speedster paced back and forth, his eyes filled with anger. We've been fighting for a world that doesn't even want to be saved. Maybe it's time we stop fighting for them. Life Bloom, the most compassionate of the group, hesitated before speaking. I understand your frustration, but we can't just give up on humanity. We have a responsibility to protect them, no matter how flawed they may be. The others exchanged glances, their expressions hardening. They had reached a breaking point, and there was no turning back. In the days that followed, the New Haven protectors began to turn on the very people they had sworn to protect. They started by targeting corrupt politicians and businessmen, using their powers to expose their crimes and bring them to justice. But as their actions grew bolder, they began to target anyone who stood in their way, regardless of their innocence. The city was thrown into chaos as the protectors' reign of terror continued. Buildings were destroyed, lives were lost, and the once proud citizens of New Haven lived in constant fear. As the weeks turned into months, the protectors' grip on the city grew tighter. They had become the very monsters they had once fought against, and there seemed to be no end in sight. But deep within the heart of the city, a small group of rebels had formed. They were ordinary citizens, with no superpowers to speak of, but they were determined to take back their city from the tyranny of the New Haven protectors. Led by a young woman named Lily, the rebels began to plan their attack. They knew they were outmatched, but they were willing to risk everything to save their city. The final battle took place on a stormy night as the rebels launched a daring assault on the protectors' headquarters. The fighting was fierce, and many lives were lost on both sides. But in the end, the rebels emerged victorious. The New Haven protectors were defeated, their power stripped away by the very people they had once sworn to protect. As they lay defeated on the cold, hard ground, the protectors looked up at the rebels with a mixture of fear and regret. We never meant for things to turn out this way, Phoenix said, his voice barely above a whisper. We just wanted to make the world a better place. Lily looked down at the fallen heroes, her heart heavy with the weight of their actions. You may have had good intentions, but your actions have caused untold suffering. You've shown us that even the best of intentions can lead to the darkest of outcomes. As the sun rose over the battered city, 
the rebels began the long process of rebuilding. They knew that the road ahead would be difficult, but they were determined to create a better world for themselves and future generations. And as for the New Haven protectors, they were imprisoned for their crimes, their once proud legacy forever tarnished by their descent into darkness. They had learned a hard lesson, one that would haunt them for the rest of their days, that even the best of intentions can lead to the darkest of outcomes. Thank you for diving into the spine-chilling mysteries with Chills Unveiled. If you've enjoyed the eerie tales and creepy narratives that send shivers down your spine, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more hair-raising content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an unveiling of the unknown. Join the community of thrill-seekers and let the darkness unfold. Subscribe now and let the nightmares continue.